Picked up sweetly off his legs, was in the slot, and he will end the over on a high. Nine without loss. Picked it up sweetly. Has that tendency to pick length quite early. Evan Lewis. This time, he makes good contact. And it goes all the way for six. He tried to go Yorker. Lewis has been in good touch, even though he hasn't gotten as many runs as he would like. He did quite well to get bat on that one. It was sliding down the leg side. Would have been called a wide. Uses his feet to good effect. Andre Fletcher finally releases the shackles. Yes, Ball him. First delivery, he strikes, he goes full, and yops Fletcher. It's just very good for Australia. Whether Zampa intended to get it right up there, only he will know, but it had the telling effect. Gets this one through. Not properly timed, but he will get four. Right. You'll see Chris Gale as an enforcer now. Yeah, Gale sees him as a matchup. He really does see him as a matchup with only two fielders outside. The circle riding the boundary. Yeah. Uh, that's a stroke. Square of the wicket. This is very favorable to Chris Gale. Very, very favorable. In this final T20I, Chris Gale making his present felt out in the middle. Crisply driven through the offside. Very strong through that region. Massive from Evan Lewis. Absolutely monumental blow. Swings hard and high. It seals into the night sky. Goes straight, beats the fielder, the diving fielder. Very expensive over. High in the night sky, who wants it? In his first over for Mitchell Swepson on the big one. It's not getting in the line, Chris Gale. Not being in control of this one. And an easy catch in the end. Does he find a gap? Yes, he does. 50 for Evan Lewis. The first half century of this series. Come back into some fine form. The leading scorer for the West Indies against South Africa quite recently. And gets to that milestone. Flat bats this one. Does he get enough of it? Yes, he does. Another six for Evan Lewis. Six sixes now for him. Would have picked this one quite well. Definitely a slower ball. No catching here, no room for catching here. Goes again, gets him again. Such a powerful and clean strike of the cricket ball. Consecutive sixes. Dealing in sixes, seven of them, along with four fours. Make that eight scoring shot. Eight boundaries, a massive hit. This one just pitched up, just in the arc. Nevin Lewis goes with it. Six more runs. Goes again. Gets it again. That's four sixes now in four balls. Just pulling down this one, just getting under this short delivery. 
and is patching it for six more runs. That should be the end of Evan Lewis and Mitch Marsh is having a phenomenal tour. Not a bad delivery. Evan Lewis trying to go over long off. Got high on, on the bat and just gently lob. Nice straight hit. Very fluent and very easily struck. Very, very well hit by Captain Poran. It was hey. right in the arc. Got a good stride in. Another one, a double dose of it. Another good blow. Really struck it well again, Nicholas Poran. Catch it's a cry, but there's no one beyond the boundary there. Puran enjoying this. Well, he switched his line to leg stump. And everything's right about that. With Simmons using his feet and defeating the short third men. Just got it over. Full toss this time. By Miss Marsh. Then the Simon tug it away to a wide long on. Very close. Should be out. Change of angle from Mitch Marsh. My goodness, he's prepared well for this store and he's reaping all the benefits. Changes the angle, gets the wicket. Change of angle did the trick. Lendel Simon is trying to hit it through the onside. Finds the fielder. Just challenging Russell to play through that offside. Catch. Now this time he gets his wicket. Trying to make room to play on that off on that onside. But just being able to find Adam Zampa. This time short. And it will be out again. Yeah, again, not being in control, Nicholas Puran. Just trying to go too hard at this one. Get some bat on it, but it wouldn't be enough. Another wicket for Ty. Yeah, just reaching for this one, Dwayne Bra Darren Bravo. Gets all of this one, and it goes all the way for six. Uh, what a finish by Hidden Walsh Jr. We spoke about him being able to bat. He finally nails one to close things off. Up in the air, Lindell Simmons, he's under it. Doesn't make any mistakes. Well directed. And Felipe tried to pull it on the onside. Didn't get hold of it, hit a bit high on the bat, and Sheldon Cottrell, that familiar salute. Wow. Well, Mitch Marsh likes the bowling of Ocean Thomas. That goes without saying. And that is really easy pickings for him. And again, one bounce this time. That strike rate against Ocean Thomas just keeps climbing. And he shows his versatility now through the offside. Really a dynamic player, Mitch Marsh, powerful. Really can't afford to bowl him there. Like you mentioned, Sir Kirtley. Really loves those short balls. Magnificent shot. 
really sublime from Mitch Marsh, pleasing on the eye. Too easy for Mitch Marsh. Very, very strong through that area. Too short and easily dealt with by Aaron Finch. Not the correct areas from Fabian Allen. And that's the wicket. Andrew Russell, first delivery. Alert enough to take the return catch. He has been the best player on this Australian team for the series. Good catch by Andrew Russell in the end. Terrific shot. Boundaries flowing. But he's finding the gaps quite nicely. The boundaries are flowing. And Australia starting off quite nicely with their pace in this power play. That was the plan. But Puran could not get across. Pace on it. Because the batting is certainly sparkling. Moses Enriquez striking the ball nicely. That is magnificent. And guess who? Yeah, keep quiet. We don't need to say it. Guess who? Finch had to find runs. He had to find runs. He knows that he's limping, so therefore he has to go at it. Is that gone? That will go upstairs for sure. Bat is short of the ground. Bill completely removed, satisfied, ready to make my decision to the big screen. My decision is out. I repeat, out. Wow. Nicely picked up. He knew it was a PC delivery. Moved to the offside and did it to perfection. Up and over. The awareness that there was a mid-off. So once he cleared the fielder, he will get four. And that he did. Right, this one goes high. Someone should take it. Yes, Lendl Simmons does. Wicket number five. We've seen this so often in the series. Didn't quite get hold of it. Lendl Simmons, easy catch in the end. Sounded really good. And he will get four. That is six. Matthew Wade is a never present danger. Really high. And in the end, really far. He's knocked him over. Russell is having a dream night. If it wasn't with the bat, it's with the ball. Trying to hit this one perhaps too hard. Head up in the air, inside edge. Kareem's onto the stumps. Watch it. Simple catch. Simple catch and the salute comes again to his colleagues back on camp in Kingston, Jamaica. And just loved for wicket keeper Puran to take a simple catch. So another wicket for Sheldon Cottrell. He's enjoying this performance. He's gotten hold of that one. Mitchell Swepson ends the over on a high. 18 gone, 165 for seven. Taken by that fella who seems to be ever present and everywhere. Off the night, not enough connection on that occasion from Berendorf. And a simple catch, simple 
because it's Fabian Allen, because of the quality he has in the field. And that will go upstairs. I wonder how tight that is. Cottrell thinks it's out. Thank you. Um, satisfied that the bat is not grounded when the bales are completely removed. My decision to the big screen is out. I repeat, out. Game complete. Mission complete for the West Indies. A really good series by a 4-1 margin for Nicholas Puran, leading the team in every game. Given the niggles, given the injuries to senior players, this has been an outstanding effort to win by 16 runs tonight. And that 4-1 margin in the series over the visiting Australians.